We're given a parabola that opens upward with its vertex at negative 1 and comma 3, and it also passes through the point 0, 5. We're asked which equation best represents it. Now, instead of solving this from scratch using vertex form, let's use the answer plug-in technique. Since we're told that both points negative 1, 3 and 0, 5 lie on the parabola, that means the correct equation must satisfy both points. Let's start with the first point, negative 1, 3. In option A, when we plug in x equals negative 1, we get y equals 3. So far, so good. But wait, don't jump to conclusions. We still need to check the second point. Try x equals 0 and y equals 5 in option A. We get y equals 6, but the actual y value is 5. So option A is incorrect. Let's try option B. At x equals negative 1, we get y equals 3. Still true. Now check x equals 0. It gives y equals 7, but we want y equals 5. Still wrong. Option C next. Plug in x equals negative 1. y comes out to be 3. Now plug in x equals 0, we get y equals 5. Boom. Both points satisfy option C. That's our correct answer. So what's the takeaway? If a question gives you more than one point and you're using the plug-in method, be sure to test all points before picking an answer. That's it. Follow for more SAT math tricks.